That is scary. That's real scary. For James Holmes, it's real quiet here. The murders near his Brunswick County home calls for concern and surprise. You expect that, like here. You know, you, you never, you know, you don't never see that around here. James Holmes isn't alone. Well, I was shocked. Bev Minier also concerned with the murders so close to her house. I thought that's sad, you know, to be shot and just dumped on the road like that. Just and leave them dead in a ditch. <laughs> yeah. That's it, it's it's terrible. Sunday morning, the Brunswick County Sheriff's Office received a call at 920 concerning an African-American man's body in a ditch alongside Bluebird Road. It was during that investigation an African-American female's body was found here, about 400 yards away on the opposite side of the road. Both had been shot multiple times. And my heart goes out to their family. So them praying, praying for their family. I know that's got to be very difficult. While positive identification of the two bodies has not been determined, Sheriff Brian Roberts tells me Monday morning, a call from a person not from the Brunswick County area provided investigators with some key information and several promising leads found outside the county. Investigators also working to identify a suspect. Nobody deserves nothing like that. Like I said, people just don't care no more. The tragic end to the two lives, Bev Meunier says, hard to understand. I mean, it's hard enough when we lose our loved ones, but to lose them with a tragedy like that, that's just heartbreaking. Brunswick County Sheriff Brian Roberts tells me both victims had multiple tattoos. Both are believed to be in their 40s or early 50s. The man had a gray beard. If you have a loved one who fits these descriptions, the sheriff asks you call his office at 434-848-3133. Wayne Koval, CBS 6 News.